A year went by, turned 13 inside of that damn place If the windows and doors didn't have locks on them I would have made an escape Time went by, all my other siblings had legal guardians Why didn't I? I refused to cry Even though another year just went by Turned 14, transferred to another place Started showing signs of body control Physically was 14, but my soul was old Fighting with the staff members I remember being strapped down to a bed Therapist said I'm suicidal I looked at him and said I'm homicidal And every one of y'all I consider rivals Age 15 I was sent to another place By now I'm showing signs of a nutcase I was placed on medication and given another mental evaluation Diagnosed with bipolar While other kids was playing But other kids I was forced to be a soldier And it turned me colder Why me? Where were you born and raised? Well, I was born in uh, Kings County, New York Which is in Brooklyn um, I lived in New York for A small portion of my childhood And then I was moved down to North Carolina with a, a relative up to the age, up to the age 12. Um, that's when I started having a foster mother. I was living with a foster mother. God rest her soul, she's dead now. What's one of your greatest inspirations? Uh, my greatest inspirations, um, so basically, uh, someone that inspires me, what inspires me? Um, I'm inspired when I see a new day come. That inspires me. When I see the sunrise, I know that I have the opportunity to get closer and closer to my dream. Would you consider yourself a battle rapper or a storyteller? Uh, I consider my, I'm definitely not a battle rapper. What I am is someone that tells my story and other people's story that where their feet that fits in my shoes um, or shoes similar to mine. So what I am is a voice. I'm a voice for, for the world. Well, when did you start rapping and why? Uh, I started rapping, you know, I really don't remember. I really don't remember when I started rapping. I know I used to recite uh, Tupac's lyrics a lot, hearing him love Tupac. Uh, um, you know, listening to that sound, uh, that, 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 that painful feeling, and it just seems like over time, I started generating or was already going through the same painful feelings. Is there any of Tupac's lyrics that you know of that like stands out to you that you hear in your head all the time? Yeah, uh, it does. Um, um, let me see. Um, you know, a lot of Tupac's lyrics stand in my head. Um, but uh, particularly... Um, You know what, I have to come back to that one because I'm a Tupac fan and all his yeah. lyrics stand out. Yeah, he does have a lot. So, uh, so if you was to pick one of your lines that stands out to you the most okay. of your album, what would be the line? It would be this. What's the meaning of love? Somebody tell me. Does it mean I'ma never get hurt? Or will I catch it to burst if I exert? All of my feelings, where can I receive emotional healing? And how do I find out if I'm one of the lowest children? Yeah, I like that. So what's some of your other talents? Um, I've been told I got the gift of gab now. I don't know how true that is. I'm gonna <laughs> let y'all decide that. But um I'm a good uh I'm a good good person if you wanna confide in, you know, um you wanna invest your money in. <laughs> And as a rapper, how far do you expect to go in this rap game? You know, I expect to go as far as God leads me. So uh, I'm, I'm in it for the long haul, and I'm putting out nothing but hits for my readers. Pay attention, it's the novelist. What's it like working with the National Music League? You know, I'm going to be honest. What's it like working with National Music League? It really makes me feel very, very special it, 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 it it's different you know i 
for a while from state to state, from New York, I lived in Texas, and now I'm here in Vegas. Um, I was given a runaround by a lot of what you would call beat makers. They wasn't really what you would call producers or had an outlet to where my music could become successful. National Musically gave me that shot, and um, I definitely thank God for introducing me to um, T Beat, Anthony Barham. I, I, Appreciate that, God. Hey, you were saying how you found um, a film team to, to bring your music to life visually. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, you know I, it is? I met this young man uh, by the name of uh, Al King Hefner. Um, I got his number through um, T Beach from National Music League. Um, I called Al. Um, you know, Al. What well, me and him had a conversation came over to um, you know where he makes the dreams possible a visual and um, he, he, he made me feel like that my story is worth a motion picture visual look and he didn't just make me feel like that he makes it happen so I, I definitely want to say um, Al King Hefner he's one he's one hell of a videographer slash Everything that comes with that visual. That's good. So, and let me know, and the world wants to know, who is the novelist? Is he any different from your everyday persona, or is it one person? The novelist is who I am, but the novelist, what makes me different is I'm everyone in the world that needs a voice that's not being heard. So, I'm your voice when you want to cry, I'm your voice when you want to smile. I'm your voice when you want to talk about getting that money. That's who the novelist is. I live in me, and before it's all over, I'm gonna be living in everyone. Pay attention. When you're on stage, do your fans excite you? Does the stage excite you? What is your feeling? You know, when I get on stage, I feel I feel wonderful. When I see um, when I see my readers out there that. They're anticipated to know what I'm about to say. And when I open my mouth and, and the delivery comes out and they, they are entombed, it makes me grasp more to, to, to them. It, it, it makes, me feel, makes me feel great. So I, I definitely has to say it's, it, I definitely have to say it's uh, the people that's watching me that um, makes, makes all this passion come out of me even more. I'm sure your fans appreciate that. And my last question is, what would you like to say to hip hop? What I would like to say to hip hop is this. Um, you know, I, I don't do the names or nothing, but what I would like to say is, I want y'all to open your ears, open your eyes, and pay attention. The novelist is on the rise, and what I'm trying to bring is something different. I'm here to open you up, open your brain waves up, open your hearts up, and open your hearts up, excuse me, and put inside of you what's inside of me. So uh, allow me to come in, because I'm knocking. Well, we'd like to thank you for coming in today, The Novelist. I appreciate it. Pay attention, it's The Novelist. And I want to say you can uh, find my music in iTunes, CD Baby, uh, distribution sites of Walmart, Target, everywhere. Pull up the novelist. Uh, you'll see uh, the EP format. I have a few songs that's already out. Hustle Till I Die, um, Survivor, Wanted, Needed, Make It Clear. Um, so the novelist is definitely here. And also you can find me on Facebook. Twitter, um, YouTube, as in The Novelist, T-H-A-N-O-V-E-L-I-S-T. -E Thanks for your time. Why I had to be me going through so much pain? Why I had to see so many things? Why I had to take the blame? Why can't nobody explain? Why I had to experience so much pain? Why I had to be me going through so much pain? Why I had to see so many things? Why I had to take the blame? Why can't nobody explain? Why I had to experience so much pain? Now I know at times 
You think why, why me, right? So, I'm basically letting you know Things will get better no matter how hard it's been, you know? Why me? Why me is what we ask, but...